Hello everybody, my name is Rolak, and welcome back to Batman Arkham Asylum. In the last episode, we uncovered every single riddle that was left to be found within the asylum. Discovered that Warden Sharp is secretly the spirit of Amadeus Arkham, stalking and killing patients within the asylum. We'll have to deal with him later. And got Riddler captured as well after tracking down his location from all the broadcasts he's been giving us. In today's episode, we are finally going to be heading to the party that Joker has prepared for us and seeing what awaits us. Guest list only. If your name's not on the list, you ain't going in. Let's see. A. a no, that's not right. So it's a B. B. Bane. Ah! Here it is. Batman. Hey. Looks like you're the guest of honor! Give him a big welcome, guys! Monster sale? Well, they're bad guys. Might as well take them out. Bam! That's these guys taken care of. And more fellas. You know what? They deserve a little special something. Who am I to deny my fans of my attention? That's not where I really wanted to put it, but that works as well. Let's give everybody a warm welcome. Fellas, here's to, here's to you. Ah, that feels good. Hey, you're the last one standing. Good job. All right. Let's have some fun here. Hello. <laughs> yep. Taking care of these guys is completely optional. However, if you do take care of all of them, you will gain an achievement for doing so. So, do that. <laughs> also, I do believe these guys will give you a ton of experience for one last fight before the finale. All right, let us proceed. Are you excited, Bats? I mean, we've been building up to this point all night. Don't tell me you've not been looking forward to it. I know I have. Surprise! <laughs> Everyone always said I should be in television. You don't want to miss this, really. It'll be a blast. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four. Three. Two. One! <laughs> Sounds like something was being jammed around over there. You also know it does not matter where you are standing when that blast goes off. This will always be the result. And I was definitely not standing here. But whatever. Jeez. Oh, okay, that's... Where'd that go? Okay, it's in the wall now, so... You can't not expect me to have fun with these. Come on. Why didn't you stop Batman? <laughs> oh, me? It was your plan, you goofy clown. <laughs> oh. ah, I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong. You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. 
It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. <laughs> All right. Are you gonna charge or are you just roaring? There we go. So, just one last fight before the finale. One final, final fight for real this time. Oh, All right, let's go ahead and take care of this one. Ow, okay. Well. Ah, okay. Come on, take you down a little bit. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, that works. Oh, hey, it damages him. Cool. Ow. Ow. Not what I'm planning to do. But this is actually working quite well for the damage on the other guy. Hey, look at that. We got this guy down. What the? Who'd I hit? What? <laughs> what did I hit? Did I hit the guy f jumping down? That's impressive. <laughs> okay, that's not what I wanted to have happen, but whatever. Come on. No, go for the big guy. What are you doing? Okay, I guess that's enough for that. Ow! <laughs> Alright, now it's just these two. Shouldn't be too difficult to take care of. I should say, beating up the Titan Thugs while they're still dizzy. While they're transitioning to their climb on me uh, position. Or state. Um, it's a good way to rack up some points. Oh, <laughs> I would like to go and take down Mr. Big Guy over here, please and thank you. Okay, or not. Come here. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, no! Ow. Okay, come on. We got him. There we go. Wait, no. That's not what I wanted to do. What? I guess that works. <laughs> there we go. Nicely done, Bats. You deserve a prize. Your old pal, Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> Uh. Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. <sighs> no! Uh. Batman! Get away! Uh. Here we go! We're gonna have some fun now, kiddies! You're trying to resist the change! That's not fair! Ugh. Come on, get in! <laughs> so, you want to play hardball, Bats? Do you? Your call! <laughs> pickle, pickle! No! Oh. oh, you're ruining my big night! Months of planning down the crapper! I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it. Giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. So <laughs> Staff at the mercy of the rampaging inmates. 
Just ten minutes ago, we received this taped message. Greetings, Gotham. Joker here. Arkham is mine. So now at least madness are told to the streets of Gotham. But first, direct your eyes to the rooftops and witness the final destruction of your dear dark night. We've been circling the tower since the... Wait, there! Joker is making his move! isn't the greatest final boss. A lot of people don't like this, and um, I can agree with them. It's uh, different. Very different. So this isn't even really much of a boss fight, I would say. It's more or less just you running away from Joker, letting him throw some goons at you, dodge the things he throws at you, and do something else. We'll get to that later. It's not a boss fight. It's just kind of do other things. He'll be sending out these little bombs, and um, yeah. once he gets distracted, you want to go ahead and hit him with the Ultra Back Claw, and just pull him down. Doing so will get him stuck because of his disgustingly long fingers. And from here, you just want to go ahead and deliver some punches to him. That is the fight. That is the entire fight. Dodge his attacks, such as so, just to run away from him, beat up some goons, pull him down, and punch him. Do that two more times, and you've beaten him. This is not a great boss battle at all. It, a lot of people have said this is possibly one of the worst boss fights in you know video game history. And not because it's a bad fight. It's because it's so unlike the Joker to do anything like this. Yes, he probably would use Titan to enhance his strength. But doing this, it just it doesn't scream Joker. Then again, the fight in Arkham Origins by Kate didn't scream Joker either. That was just a big octo from Ocarina of Time. But even still, there was some semblance of being a goofy Joker fight. This, however, is just not great. <laughs> Don't be worried if you can't get to him immediately. He still will be distracted for quite a while. So we just pull him down. Down he goes. And some more punches. With each which if each phase that we go through punching him, uh, our cape is really fucked up, Jesus. With each phase we go through with this, he'll send in more diverse goods. Wow, our cape is super fucked up. Look at that. Oh my god. Ow. Look how fucked up the cape is. Ow. Huh. I've never seen it this bad. Good lord. Yeah, every phase you go through with this, he'll just be sending in more diverse enemies. First, he'll just send in normal goons. Then for the second one, he'll send in some guys with some knives. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this time they'll be trying to get the guns. 
So uh, definitely go for this guy. <laughs> Hell, even the teeth is, are pretty easy to avoid. All you just gotta do is just get away from them. <laughs> There's the there's the baton. Take out you and go for a takedown on you. There we go. And this should be it. Anything you throw at me, bats. You can't beat me. I'm actually going to win. Ready for the next round? Always. What? I'll never let you win. <laughs> never. GCPD finally has control of the asylum. Doctors are treating the injured, but it looks like it'll take some time. All super criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. And the venom-enhanced inmates are returning to normal. Though for some, the process can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Batman Arkham Asylum. A fantastic start to a fantastic series of just continuously great games. Minus Origins Blackgate, but that's to be ignored for now. So yes, Arkham Asylum was, I would say, revolutionary as the first really, really good superhero game. Yes, there were some other games such as Spider-Man 2, which was a lot of people's favorites, apparently. I never really played it. And a few other games here and there. But this really started the really good superhero games. The combat system is perfection, honestly. It's one of the best combat systems I've ever experienced in any game. And they just kept improving it. It was very choppy <laughs> in the first run. I will give it that. It was really hit or miss at some points. But it wasn't bad. Better than Origins Blackgate, and even Origins kind of messed up the combat system just a little bit, but that was because it wasn't designed, it wasn't developed by Rock City. But from here on out, the games just keep getting better. Minus Origins. But as, I should stop arguing on that. The only... There's, I can't really say much like um, bad things about this game. There's really nothing it really does too bad. If anything, the really only major complaints I would have were possibly the character dialogue. Don't get me wrong, Kevin Conroy, rest in peace is a fantastic Batman. Mark Hamill is the Joker, obviously. You got some other original voices there um, for different characters from, like, the animated series. But for the first game in the series, where they didn't really have much of a plan to go forward with the rest of the series, it's kind of not great at certain points. Especially Batman's. Like, a lot of... For, for the future games, Batman isn't very vocal. He doesn't really crack much jokes, and he doesn't really make much sound effects during combat. But for this game, he's oddly sarcastic, kind of a dick here and there, and really vocal in combat. Like, very vocal. It's disturbing how vocal he can be in combat. It's very odd. The only other downside I would say about this game would possibly be the boss fights, or lack thereof. Because really, when you look at it, the only proper boss fight was Poison Ivy. 
Because Bane was simply just a different type of uh, Titan thug. Croc wasn't really a boss fight at all. He was kind of just an event. You don't really directly hit him at any point. You do activate his, you know, collar, but that doesn't really count. Poison Ivy, I say, was like the most boss boss fight of this game. Um, mostly because it had like different phases and like different attributes that any of, no other enemy shared. I unplugged my headset. God damn it. Um, hardly, I wouldn't really call a boss either because you kind of just beat up some goons here and there and just take her out in like one hit. The Joker fight. Oh boy. <laughs> I have no idea what they were thinking. It's not an awful fight. It's a super easy fight and not really super interesting, but it's just not a good fight. Not because it's bad, not because it's easy, but because it's the least Joker fight you could possibly ever come up with. If this was any other character jacked up on Venom, it would probably be a fine battle. A perfectly fine battle. But the fact that it's Joker, directly Joker, injecting himself of Titan and trying to destroy Batman by, I don't know, punching him or some shit. It's not really Joker-esque. It's not a great representation of what Joker would do. It would make sense for, like, Bane to be the final boss, but Bane was, like, the first boss and was also the final boss of Origins, so it would kind of get odd if they reused the boss fight from Asylum into Origins. But honestly, honestly, in my perfectly honest opinion, I would have loved it if they made Gordon the final boss. Yes, it would kind of come out of nowhere, but honestly, I think it would be way better of a final battle. Because just think about it, the, the last thing Joker would do, honestly, would jack himself up and go and fight Batman. Because that's not Joker's style. Joker's style is manipulating others to do his work for various reasons. It would make perfect sense for Joker to inject Gordon with Titan and have him fight Batman. I think that would have been a excellent, an excellent alternative to what we got. It might have been a little messed up and probably wouldn't really work out for the next game's plot, but eh, I feel like if it didn't revolve around that, it would have gone a little bit better. I don't know. It's not bad. Again, it's not a bad game by any means whatsoever. This is a fantastic game, and there are so many good things about it. Like I said, I can barely find anything like bad to say about it. The only thing that would really throw me off is that if you're playing any of the other Arkham games and you come back to this one, you will not be able to understand anything because they change up a lot of the buttons. The throw that you get when you pick up an enemy and throw them at other enemies, I don't think that appears in any other game. At all. I don't think it's a, a move in any of the Arkham games because I think A and... What was it? A and X? Yes. A and X. I'm pretty sure that's just the, the, the shockwave attack where he jumps up and does a little stun shockwave because I think that was in Origins as well. But yeah. How much more of this credits? We've been here for like four minutes already. That gives me more to talk about the game. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah. Uh, challenge mode. So as you might have noticed when we picked up certain... Uh, collectibles such as trophies or maybe we scanned a few things here and there. I think it was most trophies. When we collected them, you might have noticed that it unlocked some thing like challenge modes. Collecting those trophy unlocks challenges. You're able to do those challenges outside of the main game to basically test your skill in some way or another. It's not, it is necessary for 100% in the game and for collecting all the trophies or achievements or whichever system you're playing on. Um, they're just optional, completely optional. Um, and for some reason, in that mode, you can choose a different skin for Batman, which is just the armored bat suit, which is just him looking more advanced, I would say. Um, but aside from that, there's not really much else to say about this game. This game really only has two modes, story mode and challenge mode. And there's also, you could look at the gallery, which is just the 3D models of all the other characters, like every single thing in this game. Um... But that's all there is. And that's honestly, that's enough for what this game has to offer. It doesn't have to have any super elaborate side plot or something like that. As the first game in the series, it does an excellent job of standing out as a good first game. Arguably, people say that the later games, such as City and Night, do stand out more than Arkham Asylum. But that 
doesn't mean that Arkham Asylum was a bad game by any means whatsoever. It is a fantastic game. Really, really well done. And it just gets better from here. Like at minus Origins and Origins Blackgate, but that wasn't done by Rocksteady. We don't count. We can't count those except for Origins. I'm probably going to be going a lot more easy on Origins after the incident of Blackgate. And the fact that I did this game immediately after Blackgate is understandable. I've been meaning to get f going on the Arkham games for a while. I was heavily debating if I should even bother doing Blackgate. It was kind of just a spur of the moment idea. It's like, you know what? This game cannot be that long. I probably won't 100% complete it, and I thank God I didn't. And I'll probably just, I don't know, do things here and there. Um, but yeah, uh, this was a lot of fun to do. I love the Arkham games. This is the first Arkham game where I actually managed to get every single achievement. I did that back in December. It was actually very easy to do so. The only down, the only like difficult one I would have to say is getting every single different type of combat move in one um, attacking sequence. You do your punch, you do your jump over, you do your stun, you do the... Uh, I never showed it off, actually. You could use the back claw to pull enemies towards you and knock them down. I think I showed it off, but it just wasn't really developed well in this game. I guess they get better in the later games, like I said. But yeah, um, and the, all the other achievements are just... Um, Getting, getting every star, getting three stars on every challenge mode, um, beating the game on nor easy, normal, and hard, and discovering all the secrets and just playing the game. Really, it's really easy to get a, all the tr all the achievements on this game. Um, if you're planning to do hard mode, however, I would advise to be very good with the game because in hard mode, enemies hit harder, and there is no counter um, indicator. That little little effect that enemies have above them when they're about to attack and you press Y and you counter them. Yeah, that's not in hard mode. So you have to be extremely aware of when an enemy is about to attack you or just kind of guess. Honestly, guessing is not as bad as you would think. And honestly, the game wasn't that difficult on hard. The fact that I never even really bothered to collect everything on hard also stands to, you know, put that in. Because here's the thing. Despite what people think about the Arkham games, like the later ones at least, especially City and uh, Night, they take a while to 100% complete. Arkham Asylum was not a long game at all. This is going to be 20 episodes, 19 of them just being the main game. The bonus episode is going to be all the bios. It's not a long game. You can get this done in, like, I want to say five to seven hours if you know what you're doing. If you just avoid all the collectibles, it's easy. And yeah, the challenge mode, armored, bad suit, it doesn't really do anything different. So yes, um, yeah, these are all the different challenges. It's pretty much, it divides between combat challenges, where you rank up the high score you'd get during combat, and predator, and predator challenges, which is just doing specific tasks while within the, um, the challenge. Silent is golden, I think, is where you just don't get detected at all. Blast zone, where you take down enemy, a couple enemies with the explosive gel, and mind your head is probably an uh, inverted takedown from a gargoyle. There's the standard ones, and there is extreme ones, where they throw more hard enemies at you, give you more difficult challenges to get done. As for the downloadable content, there are four different uh, things for you to do. There is Totally Insane which is an endless gauntlet. See how long you can survive. There is Nocturnal Hunter, which is just a bonus predator map. Crime Alley, which is just you finding goons in Crime Alley. And Scarecrow Nightmare. This is an infinite gauntlet as well, but if you take one hit, you are down. Uh, actually, let's go to my 100% completion profile, this one, and see how long I lasted in this one. So I got quite a bit of points there. Did not get far in that. Yeah, got three stars and everything. As for character trophies, this is where you can view every model of every character and object in the game, such as Harley, Ivy, pretty much any character that you've interacted with. 
That's what the armored bat suit looks like, by the way. Pretty cool. Very nice. Very high tech stuff. Batman himself. And yeah, the Batwing. The Batmobile. Blackgate prisoners. Some lunatics. And yeah, pretty much every character they can interact with this in this game. So yeah, that's all there is for Batman Arkham Asylum. Yes, there is still the the bios to go over, but that will be very easy to do. But that is all Arkham Asylum has to offer. Thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play. This has been a lot of fun doing. As for what is coming up next, that is a good question because I honestly have not been thinking this far ahead. I will be doing more videos this year, hopefully more with uh, friends. Um, I'm planning to do some bonus videos here and there, not really focusing on a huge project, but hopefully just having fun with friends and maybe also doing some more uh, free plays. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to what I can offer this year, and I hope I can deliver well. Again, thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Rolak. Until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. Hmm. Maybe we'll figure out what this means later. <laughs>